Hi, this is Stephanie, and I have one more screener to show you with a new PowerPoint tip. Here you can see the result. We have Gumby and Pokey as the models to demonstrate the torn paper effect on a photograph or any graphic image within PowerPoint. This effect was generated entirely within PowerPoint. So let me show you how I did this. I'm just going to click on a slide that has the original photograph in it. And I, the very first step is to go up to your drawing menu, choose shapes, and then grab that freeform shape. Start on the left side of the image and just begin moving your mouse around, clicking fairly often so that you create a kind of a smooth line. The more you click, the smoother it becomes. And I'm just moving along here, clicking, clicking, clicking until I get to the other side. And then I'm coming down, back across, and then up to the beginning. And when I do that, it fills the freeform shape in with the default color. Now we want to make sure that the fill color of the freeform shape is in contrast to the colors within the photograph. In this case, the blue works well because there's very little blue in the photograph. So just pick a color that contrasts with the, with the photograph. The outside line is also a blue, but in this case we want to change that color to be similar to the shadow effect that will eventually apply to the photograph and uh, that'll be a gray. So let's double click on the freeform shape, choose outline. Now if you go too harsh of a gray, it, it, uh, it begins to be, become very obvious along the bottom where the torn edge is. So you want to get a little softer in that and I think somewhere around there is probably just about right. And now at this point we need to save out both of these images as a single PNG file and bring it back in so that we can work with transparent colors. To do that just click both images, select them both, and then press Control X to copy, or sorry, to cut them off the slide. Now go up to your menu, choose Paste, Paste Special, and then bring it in as a PNG. And there we go. Now let's double click on the PNG, choose Recolor, Set Transparent Color, and then click anywhere in the freeform shape. That will clear out the blue. The next step is to crop the image so that we can get rid of this area on the right, this area on the left, and this area on the bottom. So let's go up, let's double click on the image, click on crop, and we want to grab, grab it from the bottom there and the bottom on this side, and that's about right. And then the final step, double click on the image, choose picture effects, shadow, and we just want to add a shadow in to create a little bit more realism. And there you go a torn paper effect in PowerPoint. Now, just for a note here, before you combine it out as a uh, PNG file, while it's still a freeform shape, that blue fill at the bottom, you could have used edit shapes from the menu and move those points around a little bit to, if you weren't happy with them. Uh, this may take a couple of times to create the, the right look. So if you see what I've created here, versus the first one I showed you. Each one's going to be a little different, so it's whatever appeals to your eye, whatever works for your current situation, and you may have to do it a couple of times to get the right effect. But those are the steps, so hope you enjoyed.